We know this section is about ampacity tables, but it's important for you to know why you use these ampacity tables. The table one, the table two, etc. Why do we use them? Well, the ampacity of a conductor is also known as the current carrying capacity of the conductor. It's measured in amps and it determines the maximum current that it can safely carry without exceeding its allowable operating temperature. To prevent overheating, the conductor's temperature must remain within a safe and acceptable range. That's what you're doing in this section, keeping it within a safe and acceptable range. For example, take this three gauge copper conductor with a 90 degrees Celsius rated insulation. For example, RW90. Let's say it's installed in that EMT raceway you see in the middle there. Well, table two of this section is going to assign it an ampacity of 115 amps. That ampacity of 115 amps means that as long as the ambient temperature around that raceway does not exceed 30 degrees Celsius, it can carry that 115 amps continuously in that environment of 30 degrees Celsius or lower. And if it carries that 115 amps continuously, the insulation temperature will never go higher than 90 degrees Celsius. So again, you have a three gauge copper conductor with 90 degree Celsius rated insulation, RW90. You can install that in this EMT raceway. Table two will tell you it can it, it can have a capacity ampacity of 115 amps. That means two things to remember. First of all, the ambient temperature was less than or equal to 30 degrees Celsius. And it means you can run it at 115 amps continuously and the insulation temperature will remain within the 90 degree limit. But how often are we doing something that basic? We, there's often more factors at play that cause heat. So let's talk about the causes of heat. Well, an insulated conductor carries current. Its temperature rises in, in, it rises in proportion to the amount of current that's flowing through it, which could exceed the temperature rating. The temperature may increase even more if the heat dissipation is limited because of a higher current flow, close proximity to other live conductors, or if there's elevated ambient temperature around it. So more conductors, less space around it, um, higher current flow in those conductors, close proximity to other live conductors, or elevated ambient air temperatures all are going to make the temperatures rise. And what's wrong with the temperature rising? The temperature rises with the current and all of those factors. And this excess of this excessive heat can result in a deterioration of the conductor's insulation, unintended tripping of temperature sensitive overcurrent protection devices, such as low melting point fuses, circuit breakers, and failure of terminations or failure of equipment. So you can reduce that heat by reducing the number of conductors in a raceway, by increasing the airflow around the conductors, by increasing the distance of separation between those conductors, or as we do in this section, derating by applying factors to reduce that ampacity for safety. Essentially, ampacity represents the highest continuous current that a conductor can handle while staying below hazardous temperature levels. It's important to know why we're doing these ampacity calculations, which are possibly the most popular calculation that we do in the Canadian Electrical Codebook. Thanks for listening. If this is useful to you, please subscribe. Please hit like, please give me some comments and Please look at my other videos if this is helpful to you. Let me know what else you have to learn. Thank you so much for your support.